Welcome back to Night in the Woods. We just visited the graveyard. Now it's time to sleep. Wonder if we're gonna dream about the ghost. Oh, I already don't like this. Can't see my face. Listen to the echo on just my footsteps. That was strange, it let me go off camera. This feels like the same general shape of the land at the cemetery. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Is there going to be a statue up here on this hill? Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh. Is that a cat? Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing here I've thought to talk to. Are you... God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they're asking if I am God, and I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. You are seeing what you are wishing, little creature. So what am I doing here? monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ah, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air, and now they are making a tear, and now they are gone, and now you are here. A tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear, little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives, and they're asking me about God. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible, and I am showing you now. Ah! Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Clo- er, uh, why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of god. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. 
there is a hole at the center of everything, and it is always growing. Between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond. And now there is only the whole. So, does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. And your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again, and the universe is forgetting you, and I am remembering you, but not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago, the end is moments away, there is no time to forget, before all this is forgotten. Goodbye little creature. What a horrible dream. So that creature, that entity, said that it was closing the tear, tired of speaking with little creatures. So does that mean other little creatures like May have also been having similar dreams, have been brought there, or traveled there. Oh, I message. Oh, it's the same ones before. Plants are to be pitied. Hey dude, at the old Snalkin. Come save me from boredom supreme. Sincerely, Gregory. Morning. At the pickaxe if you're in town center today. I don't even know why I'm saying this. You're in town center every day. Anyway, see you later. Techonomy today. Turn up founder Mike Eggplant to buy postal service. Turn up founder Mike Eggplant. Huh. That is quite the sentence. I feel like we discovered a lot yesterday. I wonder if there's any new songs. TikTok, pumpkin head guy. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Bird. I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit. I should let you out. Nah. Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? No. Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me, I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle, baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, we'd given up hope. And then, there you were. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... I'm not pregnant! I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. Just want you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about anything else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby... <laughs> okay, I'm out. Okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. 
I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Cheer you up? Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report. Life is too short. Here's another happy one. Life is great. But life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs. In the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. They cheer you up? They did. Yay! Chazakov's up there again. You ever, like, drop that telescope? Oh no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visits every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university research place. He's not interested in... this. Sellers. Eh. We do karaoke at Miller's, but only like twice a week. Should be every night. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. usual thing, you're looking pretty bad, thanks. <laughs> Again, May? Well, they didn't complain this time. They still burn their eyes, though. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole. Knew a guy named Cole once. That's close. It is. So what's up with this guy? Cole is from a flat land. This Midwest? Whatever the Midwest of wherever he was from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Uh... Not really. I like home. I like my neighborhood. I like the bad diner food. It is not good. But it's good bad. Like a story... Uh, a story your friend wrote and gave you to read. I like the disco fries. <laughs> so what happened to Cole? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had been up into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when one returns. One. One. Adina Astrada, or Ostra, rather. Adina Ostra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake, how she traversed unknown faraway lands. I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah. How she and her quest turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where her stars were no longer over her head, and how she was never seen again. Yeah. Whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, she probably died. She lived well. She did many amazing things. It is not sad to die having done so much. I guess. Still sucks. Dying. It is a shame. That's all for the day. Cole and Adina. The stars, yep. May, you should go home and get in bed. Nah. At least come down through the house. So you don't break your neck falling off a roof. <laughs> I'm good. I will watch you go, and call the ambulance if needed. Thanks, that's really nice. At least I can do. So, I'm pretty sure every time in the past they've said, I'll be back up here in a couple days, right? And this time they didn't? So maybe that's all the constellations we're gonna find. Yeah, I was just wondering, can I actually go through the door here? But I can't. I can't go through the door, dude. I gotta break my neck. Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor, after all. Folks need her. Ah, they're... They're gonna back up and leave, then. Before the pastor realizes it. Are you leaving? Yep. Gonna hop a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. So I'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. We'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Thanks for talking to me. It was nice to get to know you. You too, Bruce. Gonna miss you. We'll all meet again. I hope so. Hope's important. It's the last thing you got. You take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand at this. Maybe older than I should've ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. Goodbye, May. Because there will be children here. And this is a historic church. That's half empty. That's your job to fix, not ours. The population drain in this region. You have to know this place will never be full again. We have the space and we have people who need space. We have resources and we have poverty. And not in some far off place or some big city, right here, right across the street. Katie, it's our number one job right now to bring business into town. Business means jobs, and jobs means people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half-dead church stacked full of bums. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Kate does have a good heart. Unlike those four shitheads. Ah, stressful day. Some days you need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? It was. Is. Whatever. It's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway. How are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I've met God. What? 
I don't think it was a dream. Oh, wow. That happens, right? Or it, like, happened. Sure. Can you tell me about it? It was like the shore of this giant black ocean. I could see it, like, forever into the sky. And below it was just sand. As far as I could see. I was wandering through it, but I was, like, drawn to something. And I came up over this... What do you call a hill made of sand? A dune? Yeah, a dune. And there was God. Just sitting there. Up on another hill. Or dune, whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. Seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. Um, they like, didn't care. They didn't care if you were there? No, I mean, they didn't care. In general. They went on and on about how annoyed they were, that people kept coming to them with questions, and annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. No, well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. Now, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing. And it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about this giant hole in the center of everything, growing. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Yes. I had this problem when I was in high school. And I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years. Since... Well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I don't think I believe in God anymore. If you want the truth, I think everyone doesn't believe in God. For at least a few minutes a day. Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a god? Like, literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On my best days, I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But... But you stand up there every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure? It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. Maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally of how much I believe that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor. You can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Uh, and you can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what is the point of you? I have to go. Okay. Ooh. The conversation took some twists and turns. Hey, hun. Are you still having headaches? Yeah. But being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hun. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday, it's full then. I bet it is. 
Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. Still up here? I mean, I left and went to work and so forth since we met. Hmm. Is that a fiddle? It's a violin. That's like the same thing, right? It's a violin, I assure you. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click clack. We had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. <laughs> That's what the other person said, too. Hey, kid. What you up to? Hey, adult. Nothing. Sounds good. I was gonna go down to the tracks. Did you want to come? Whoa. Sure. Good, good. Let's go. Totally, let's. Wow. Been a while since I've been here. My house is like three minutes from here. Got the longest night lights from last year still up. <laughs> Someone on my street does that too. We got pumpkins last year and we left them out too long. And they like liquefied. Oh yeah, I remember that happened with ours one year. My mom was so mad at my dad. It was his job to get rid of them. He had to like mop it up. I've seen like a time lapse video of when a corpse decays and like everything liquefies. We're all goo deep down. Yep. Okay, so like a cool thing to do is squish a metal thing on the tracks. I like that a lot. Cool. I brought a little metal dude. Let's see what happens. Sounds good, kid. I come out here at night sometimes and fall asleep between the tracks. Why? I don't know. I feel excited and I can sleep. You ever have that where you're so excited you go to sleep? Uh, I have stress dreams if I'm too keyed up. I don't remember my dreams. Sometimes I fall asleep for like five minutes. But sometimes it's for like an hour. That's some risky business there. I have weird thoughts, like sometimes I want to go to sleep in the woods, or in the basement of an abandoned house during the day, and only come out at night and be, like, a monster, and, like, beautiful. I know the feeling. I want to eat people sometimes. Really? Pretty much as soon as I meet anyone. I wonder what they taste like. I feel like the world is full of bad people. Who would be good to eat? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got. Whoa. Yay. Your little metal guy is all... Wow. He represents the human soul. This is important art. <laughs> well, I gotta get rolling. Okay. Let's roll. Laters. horror movies, and trains. That was cool. I love how I just keep spending time with these people and eventually I get to actually, like, really hang out with them. It's really cool. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. 
So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to do some exploring around a little bit more, talk with B, and then I think we're going to go with Angus on a little ride. <laughs>